Welcome dear friends for my video course on teacher eligibility test part 2 educational psychology thank you very much for having gone through my video on the first part part a of educational psychology now comes the educational psychology part 2 for your gain thank you very much for your presence i'm sure if you go through all the three parts you will be able to get the comprehensive view of the entire educational psychology which is meant for teacher eligibility test thank you very much dear friends let us uh, get into the topic as such that seat tet net for all these people this can be highly useful i am sure about it in this uh, video lecture we are concentrating on individual differences intelligence meaning characteristics intelligence theories etc and creativity are individual differences individual differences uh, stand for the variations or deviations among individuals in regard to a single characteristic or a number of characteristics dictionary of education by carter b good says this there are two types of individual differences physiological differences and psychological differences what are the causes of individual differences there are many heredity that is a genetic part of human beings physical character and mental character etc coming from genes etc environment then age sex all these things are the uh, uh, factors of individual differences what are the types of individual differences there are physical differences various parts of the body you know uh, bodily differences emotional differences there are positive uh, aspects love affection in some people or negative uh, emotional aspects anger jealousy etc so people differ you know in all these characteristics then mental differences that is uh, intellectual abilities uh, thinking reasoning etc then there is a difference individual difference in achievement especially differences exists in studies and also differences exists in uh, motor ability that is speed of action muscular movement etc that there are differences uh, that are found in affective domains especially uh, in the form of attitudes beliefs opinions etc and also in learning there are individual differences because uh, learning and retention uh, capacities differ from person to person there are social and moral uh, differences in the social and moral development also uh, differences are observed then intelligence iq of the general population shows a difference in the intelligence among people then differences in interest and aptitudes there are differences in attitudes and uh, belief now let us uh, analyze the meaning of interest what is interest interest is a central force that drives the whole machinery of the teaching learning process interest may refer to the motivating force that implies us to attend to a person a thing or an activity according to crow and crow 1973 interest as a driving force not only helps children to acquire certain learning experiences but also color and fashion their attitudes aptitudes and other personality traits a thing that interests us is just something that concerns us or matters to us according to ross interest means making a difference we are interested in objects because we we because they make a difference to us because they concern us 
this definition has been given by Portia. Interest and attention are closely related to each other. Commenting on the relationship, McDougall writes like this, Interest is a latent attention. Interest is a latent attention, I mean hidden attention. And attention is interest in action. So interest is the mother of attention. Interest are innate as well as acquired dispositions. Interests are not permanent and fixed. They get changed as a result of maturation, learning and other internal as well as environmental conditions and factors. Interest is a central force that drives the whole machinery of the teaching learning process. Let us understand the meaning of uh, attitude. Attitude is one of the important attributes of our behavior. An attitude is a predisposition or readiness to respond in a predetermined manner to relevant stimuli, according to Vitaka. One's uh, attitude decides one response to a particular stimulus. That is what he holds. Then uh, we can measure attitudes in two ways, direct method and indirect method. Through direct method, we can measure the verbal report of the attitude. Through indirect method, we can interpret the attitude from the unsaturated or indirect responses. There are two types of uh, attitude scales. Thurston's attitude scales, equal appearing interval scales, the uh, another name. Likert attitude scale. This scale is more popular than Thurston's scale. Aptitudes may be considered a special ability or specific capacity besides the general intellectual ability. Then there is a level of aspiration, abilities and capacities for the attainment of a thing. That is the meaning of level of aspiration. Abilities and capabilities, capacities for the attainment of a thing. Now let us understand the meaning of intelligence. Intelligence is the ability to do abstract thinking according to term 1921. Intelligence is the aggregate or global capacity of the individual to act purposefully, to think rationally and to deal effectively with his environment according to Westler. Intelligence is the ability to make good responses and is demonstrated by the capacity to deal effectively with the novel situations, according to Thorndike. What is the nature of intelligence? The nature of intelligence is to be inferred from the way intelligence uh, thinks, uh, reasons and acts. Intelligence is the general mental adaptability for new problems and new situation of life. The more intelligent a person is, the more reading and uh, extensively is able to learn and enlarge his field of activities and experiences. The effective use of concepts and symbols in dealing with situations, especially presenting a problem to be solved through the use of verbal and numerical symbols. There are different types of intelligence. According to Thorndike, there is concrete mechanical intelligence. Concrete intelligence is nothing but ability to understand and deal with things as in skilled trades and scientific appliances. Then there is abstract intelligence. It is the ability to deal with the words, numbers, letters, etc. It is required in ordinary academic subjects in schools and colleges. The philosophers and mathematicians are having more abstract intelligence. Then there is social intelligence. It refers to the ability of the individuals to react to the social situations of daily life. It is the ability to understand others and react towards others. It, nothing, it is nothing but dealing with other persons. What are the various theories of intelligence? There is unitary, monarchic theory or unifactor theory. According to Turman and Binet, Intelligence uh, consists of only one factor. That factor is simply the cause of all activities. So this is called a unitary theory given by Terma. Then there is two factor theory of intelligence. So this theory was uh, proposed by Charles Spearman. He is an English psychologist. According to him, intelligence consists of two factors. 
that is general factor capital g and uh, specific factor capital s g factor is nothing but the universal inborn ability constant in a person it differs from individual to individual that there is s factor it is nothing but learned and acquired in the end it is learned and acquired in the environment it varies from activity to activity in the same individual then there is multi factor theory anarchic theory of intelligence according to e l thondike edward lee intelligence is the combination of numerous factors of elements for each activity one factor becomes the cause then there is thurston's primary mental abilities theory or group factor theory of intelligence or factor analysis theory louis thurston developed this theory by using chicago university students according to him intelligence is composed of seven mental abilities and they are called as primary mental abilities what are they verbal comprehension word fluency number space memory perceptual perception reasoning both inductive and deductive etc structure of intellect theory si model this theory was developed by j p gilford american psychologist SI model was developed on the basis of factor analysis of many tests in 1978 gilford identified five contents six products and six operations a maximum number of factors 6 into 5 into 6 that is equal to 180 what are the five contents in the si model visual figural real objects perceived through eyes auditory sound symbolic composed of letters and digits etc semantic clear verbal meanings and no examples are necessary then behavioral understanding human communication these are the five contents in uh, structure of intellect model then six products in si model structure of intellect that is units classes relations systems transformations and implications then there are five operations in si model structure of intellect model that is cognition memory recording memory retention divergent production convergent production evaluation now let us understand the meaning of intelligent quotient iq IQ is the ratio between mental age MA and the chronological age CA that is dividing mental age by the chronological age and multiplying it with 100 so IQ is equal to MA by CA multiplied by 100 that is that is the formula example chronological age is 5 mental age of a person is 6 suppose if you are asked to find out the iq simply apply this formula how apply the formula 6 by 5 into 100 6 is the chronological age 6 uh, is the mental age and 5 is the chronological age into 100 so 6 by 5 into 100 120 so 120 above average i mean above 100 so 120 that is superior so he is considered to be a superior uh, student in intelligence the level of intelligence in a child goes on increasing slightly with the increase in age intelligence is growing up to uh, 16 or 18 years of age it does not increase beyond 14 to 15 years of age according to thurston heredity and environment are necessary for the intellectual growth IQ for most of the individuals uh, remains uh, constant. Merrill classification of IQ. Uh, very important one. Uh, sometimes questions are being asked in this uh, Merrill classification of IQ. From 0 to 24 IQ, that is, uh, he is called an idiot. 25 to 49, the person is called impecile. If IQ is 50 to 69. moron moderately mentally retarded 
if the IQ is 70 to 79, borderline defective person, slow learner in other words, 80 to 89 IQ, if a person has got this level, then he is considered to be at low average. So 80 to 89, low average person. 90 to 109 is a normal person, average intelligence, normal intelligence, average intelligence of a person. 110 to 119, high average. 120 to 139, superior intelligence. 140 to 169, very superior. So this is how Beryl's classification of IQ goes. What are the test of intelligence? Father of intelligence testing, you know, Albert Pinner. He is considered to be the father of intelligence testing. 19th century psychologist from a French army service. He, you know, there are uh, two types of uh, intelligent tests, namely individual test of intelligence. When a single person is tested by a single examiner, example, Binet's intelligence test, Wessler intelligence scale, then group test of intelligence. When a single examiner is given to test a number of persons at a time, example, Army Alpha for literates and Army Beta for illiterates, a group of, uh, see, when a single examiner gives a test to a number of persons at a time. No? This is called a group test of intelligence. Then there is performance test of intelligence. It is considered as the best test among all. Alexander's pass along test, course block design test come under this, uh, verbal language test, vocabulary test, memory test, comprehension test, information test, association test, reasoning test, all are conducted in this performance test of intelligence. Some important tests for measuring intelligence, standard Binet test of intelligence, then uh, Wechsler believe, uh, believe intelligence test, Thurston's test of primary mental abilities, non-verbal test of intelligence, uh, Raven's of progressive matrices, culture fair intelligence test, body of battery performance test, Alexander pass along test, course block design test and picture completion test all come under uh, different uh, tests for measuring intelligence. Let us uh, understand the theory of multiple intelligence. Howard Gardner, professor of Harvard University developed the theory of multiple intelligence in 1983. He has proposed eight categories of intelligences. Linguistic intelligence, that is a word smart. Logical mathematical intelligence, number reasoning smart. Spatial intelligence, picture smart. Bodily kinesthetic intelligence, that is a body smart. Musical intelligence, music smart. Interpersonal intelligence, people smart, intrapersonal intelligence, self smart, naturalist intelligence, nature smart. Now let us understand the meaning of creativity. Creativity is the capacity or ability of an individual to produce, create, discover new ideas or objects including the rearrangement or remodeling of what is already known to him. So this is the meaning of creativity. It involves a process of creative thinking, that is divergent thinking. Guilford uh, speaks about this. Creati creativity is an act of two parts. The first part consists of getting an idea and the second part involves articulating it. That is putting each idea into form. This is the meaning given by James Rhodes. Creativity refers to abilities that are most characteristics of creative people. This is what Guilford says. So, so let us understand it again. Uh, this is something, some important question anyway. Creativity is the capacity or ability of an individual to produce, create, discover new ideas. Not only that, it includes the rearrangement or remodeling of what is already known to the person. 
so uh, normally divergent thinking creativity always goes along with the divergent thinking then creativity is an act of two parts so the first part consists of getting an idea and the second part involves articulating articulating it that is putting each idea into form so this is what james rod says creativity refers to abilities that are most characteristics of creative people according to him what are the characteristics of creativity creativity is universal it is capable of being promoted by the training or education it is a divergent thinking no doubt about it no convergent thinking convergent thinking more of a depth in intelligence whereas creativity we need a divergent thinking what are the theories of creativity that is a divine inspiration god given gift of theory simply god gives wisdom you know creative wisdom yeah, this is what this divine inspiration god given gift theory says then theory describing creativity equivalent to insanity see sometimes you know the creative people will be uh, you know insane that means uh, uh, they won't look like a normal being a normal human beings like you know there is a theory says they will be very different from normal people in other words there is a theory describing creativity as native or inborn so the inborn uh, capability of a person that is creativity that is what this theory says there is a theory of environmentally acquired creativity through effort through intelligence through relentless activities uh, this type of uh, creativity can be uh, cre- uh, uh, can be uh, constructed can be uh, formed according to this theory theory of environmentally acquired creativity in other words environment creates uh, creative people you know yeah, that is the meaning of this tailors level theory of creativity there are five levels expressive creativity productive creativity inventive creativity innovative creativity emergent creativity that is higher level of creativity hemisphere theory of creativity that is right hemisphere creative individuals uh, you know they are found in the, in the brain the right hemisphere of the brain uh, is related to the creative individuals the left hemisphere the left brain uh, is related to the logical thinkers or very intelligent people so hemisphere theory of creativity right hemisphere creative individuals left hemisphere logical thinkers in other words the right brain creativity left brain intelligence then psychoanalytic theory of creativity so all these things are different types of creativity what are the steps in creativity by wallace uh, there are four uh, stages according to wallace that is preparation the plan of action is formulated by means of collecting and analyzing the information then incubation there is an absence of uh, creative thinking so take rest uh, sleep sleep over the problem they say then illumination sudden ideas occur at any time archimedes discovery then verification that is the final stage to verify the idea or solution whether that is correct or not so what is the connection or what is the link between creativity and intelligence are they related in some measure highly creative persons are usually found to possess intelligence to a high degree in intelligence testing the speed and the accuracy of the cognitive behavior is emphasized while in creative testing novelty flexibility and originality are given more important so divergent thinking is the basis for creativity whereas convergent thinking is the basis for intelligence so these are all uh, related concepts with regard to creativity and intelligence how to identify a creative person by observing their activity by observing their behavior in the classroom and their responses by conducting creativity test by conducting competitions even competitive test through this we can find out whether a person is creative or not how to develop creativity among students there are so many techniques 
given by psychologists brainstorming the creator of uh, uh, this technique is uh, osborne the individual is free to express his ideas without any inhibition then synaptics the word synaptics denotes the joining together of different and deliberate irrelevant elements a training program uh, has been proposed by gordon synaptics uh, in greek means fitting together diverse and irrelevant elements so all on a sudden you know uh, the person finds the creative idea by doing this you know through different pieces of information he puts together here and there and finally is able to find out something new from it so freedom to express we should allow the students to express their opinions so freedom to express is one of the uh, techniques for developing creativity among students then encouraging originality and flexibility asking them to write on something originally from their own words something like then curiosity curiosity of course we have to raise the level of curiosity in students in order to become someone so that way they can create they can develop creativity then absence of ridicule and insult when something new comes or strange things uh, strange answers come from students let us not uh, ridicule and insult the students that is the idea here uh, so that they are able to experiment with the new ideas even if it is very strange then curriculum examination assignments creative reading and writing or other techniques for the development of creativity among students now let us uh, talk about uh, you know this uh, retardant retard no uh, retarded students what is tmr trainable mentally retarded what is mmr moderately mentally retarded what are the test of creativity kilford's creative test 1959 tarl test of creative thing in 1966 Flangen's Ingenuity Test, 1966; Parker Mendes' Test of Creative Thinking, 1973. Parker Mendes is an Indian scholar who has created the Test of Creativity uh, Thinking. Gilford's Creativity Test. What are the various techniques involved here? The Brick Users Test, the Hidden Figures Test, the Match Problem Test, Plot Title Test. the simple production test all are involved in gilford's uh, uh, creativity creative test the tarl test of creative thinking he has developed five verbal test and three figural picture test five verbal test what are they ask and guess activities product improvement unusual uses unusual questions just a response these are all uh, five verbal test there are three picture test what are they picture construction test picture completion test parallel lines test so all these things come under uh, figural or picture test uh, by torrens test of creative thinking then pogan mendes verbal test of creative thinking you know our indian scientists pogan magenti and m k raina they are most popular in the area of uh, popular in the area of creativity their test of creativity consists uh, of four aspects consequent consequence test unusual uses test similarity test product improvement test these are the four techniques they used in their uh, test of creativity thank you very much dear friends god bless you very much let us uh, wait for the third Uh, part three so needs coming i request you to go through everything and subscribe also if you like it thank you for your presence god bless you abundantly once again